completely absorbed into this film and the intimate and vulnerable space that we're given access to. It features some of the most beautiful and evocative cinematography in this family and immersive experience. So please join me in welcoming our director, Anna Hayes. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but I hope that you all feel like now you're ready for smoke sauna. So <laughs> I'm not going to say much before. There's Q&A later, and there are here four of us producers, cinematographers, cinematographer aunts. Can you stand up? Producer and editor also. And we are here to answer the questions. But we have done this, uh, we have a small song for you uh, in Estonia. So, aunts. And 
I would like to really congratulate us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at first, I thought that it should be female, mm -hmm. uh, but there is another thing that there are not so many female cinematographers. And I didn't find the one that uh, spoke to the way that I wanted to speak in this film visually. And then I thought of Aunt Maya Corsman from Film Academy. And, and then I understood, I realized that I shouldn't be stuck with a female also, that it goes beyond gender, that sisterhood is also beyond gender. And I have this beautiful experience that there is male who defines male, and we are there, and there was trust, and there was, you know, it was it was very beautiful experience. And maybe Aunt you want to tell about how you saw it, because it was very, uh, challenging. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was free sauna with real temperature, <laughs> 60 to 90 degrees Celsius. One uh, session lasts four hours. Something, yeah. And uh, for me, it, uh, physically, it wasn't difficult because I'm really a fan of sauna. Basically, two, three months with the week. So I. But anyway, uh, I had all these elements, what you need to get this kind of magic picture. I mean, smoke, steam, water, reflections, naked body, and we just, I had just to play around with it. I mean, uh, of course, camera survived. <laughs> I lost two lenses. <laughs> extra fancy and expensive uh, of monitor. <laughs> We almost backed up. Once <laughs> me and us were shooting smoke, it is there, but we almost blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it was like a natural thing to do. I, it's it's uh, really nice that uh, this film is for my mother, for my sister, maybe for my wife. Maybe for your daughter also. And uh, I really. I was really lucky to be so close and heard these stories face to face, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I uh, once had ice bags around, and there was like a whole system how to pull down the camera. Put. If I turn on this same camera, I feel the smoke sauna smell from from hand, basically. That was kind of and, and did you, had you built that trust from the beginning, where the women come from the beginning, or did it take some time? You mean me with a women or aunts? Yeah. Aunt in the space. I mean, Anna did all this job, and I just, uh, I didn't talk much. I was quiet and busy going. Okay. I mean, Anna, Anna was in between me and all other girls. So. We had, uh, no, we, we tried it out, we tried it out uh, to answer that question, we, um, I mean, how we shot it also, we were living in a farm, we were taking water from the well, so all that setting was already very special. And then uh, we tried it out uh, with Hans, and from the first time actually, uh, he's so sensitive, and women opened up, so it really worked beautifully. The light is bright, so if it takes me a minute to register a hand, is there one? You can wave it. Okay, right here. Uh, it was beautiful. Thank you very much for telling the story of Estonia. Um, who came up with the idea for the transition? I came up. It was uh, from the beginning there. Uh, because what was important was for me to show the different seasons, first of all, because most of the tradition to understand um, that philosophy uh, it is so much connected with nature, and our understanding of time is also not linear, but psychic, according to nature. That's why we have also spirit uh, somewhere where you can uh, invite your ancestors and um, so that was important. This kind of cycle, like how you are in summer, also you're in heat, and then go inside, out. So that was from the beginning, that psychicness, and also the water layer for me. I call it water layer. 
um, that the water is an element, so important element, that um, is inside sauna, but also is like, gives so much hope because water is there, takes different forms, and then it comes, you know, it circles around the earth. As uh, my grand used to say, that in the uh, water there is also your grand and grandmother and you know every one of us. We are connected with that water. So that water was, um, it was already there. And so always when we did uh, shooting, we, uh, me and us went also to nature to shoot uh, the shots that we made. Actually, the whole journey of the film has been seven years. Uh, so there was a time, there was a year when we didn't shoot so much, there was a time when we shot um, a lot of times, but yeah, seven years. And during those seven years, there were also people who, who approached me or just came to my life and they wanted to be in the film. And, um, and as a director, I feel my task is to set the atmosphere, to set the setting so that magic can happen. That's my approach to fiction also, um, to everything. Like you have to make that space and hold that space. And then, of course, Murksana itself was holding that space too. And then um, the stories emerged. And there were stories that, now, I mean, it all happened like spontaneously. So I knew some things we talked, of course, we connected with them before, but, but there were stories that they shared that they never shared anywhere else, or things that just emerged there. So, yeah. Thank you. This is Estonia, because... You're also Estonian, did I ask? Oh, <laughs> lovely. Um, there. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, in what we call uh, Boroma and uh, Setoma. So it is southeastern part. It is in um, Unotarto, and then Unoboru. And uh, it's really the, the border uh, Boroma between uh, Latvia and, and uh, Russia. Like that's southeastern part. <laughs> Any question? Oh, we're here with you. Know, huh? Yeah, uh, step by step. <laughs> we did lens, we put it on the floor in the sauna, we heated up the sauna, and it took like two, three hours to get this temperature into lens. Or I, I, I don't know how to like, explain it. Anyway, we prepped it every second before every sauna, like two, three hours, yeah, to get this without steam. So it Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, winter time it was even more difficult because temperature from outside was like minus 50, even. Minus minus 20, yeah. minus 20 degrees Celsius, and uh, inside is like 60 to 90. Yeah. But, uh, did, you, did you change lenses at all? No, nope. I used. Uh, Cheapest SIMA lenses <laughs> uh, because of that. Yeah, I use this 18 to 35 art lens. Yeah. I love a lot that you mentioned seven years uh, of work. And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about maybe some challenges that you might have encountered along the way. Maybe your producers can weigh in on what it, you know, and how you to how, how you all collaborated. In the beginning, there was another producer who unfortunately passed away. Mm -hmm. And, um, but then the universe brought us together, so Marianne, maybe you want to speak? Uh, yes, um, mm, this, it, there is so much magic uh, around this project. Uh, my roots are also in southern Estonia. I know it's like a living expression of this culture, but uh, for me it's kind of dormant, but my father is from the area. And uh, when they got development funding with this other uh, producer whom I knew a little bit, Back in 2016, um, I remember like seeing this like projects that had gotten the development funding, and I felt like, how did it happen that I am not this film? 
And uh, three years later, after some tragic uh, circumstances, um, Anna offered me to take on the project. The British producer had passed away. And uh, we actually met, and that was, uh, I had just gone through a very like, depressive period of my life. And there was this day when I felt that, like, fuck it all, I'm just going to do what I feel cool to do and see wherever it would take me. And it take me to Sundance because I then went to a Friday to a concert, <laughs> protest, uh, towards the home, and Anna was there. And that's where we kind of connected. I knew her from before because she's a course mate of my, my, um, my course mate from BA. They like, studied previously together, so we were in the same bunch and they knew each other, but it's... For me, it's been producing this film has been a very, very personal journey also, and all about um, trusting the path that you're walking and yourself, and that it will lead somewhere. Mm -hmm. So yes, the past four years we have been working with Anna, and uh, it's been a big growth process for all of us. Very beautiful one. Was there anything? The question is, uh, how, how, did, how did the music get, how did it incorporate in me? So the music is a lovely collaboration between uh, um, a South Estonian band Eta trio that I am part of, um, and uh, Icelandic composer Edvard Eggelson. Uh, <clears throat> and it happened like this, that uh, because me and Mariana were so much into Icelandic music, I knew that there should be the ether because this is us singing and it's actually mostly my voice there and uh, you know from that culture putting that into, into the voice because we also chant without the lyrics also so getting that energy and spirit and then uh, we found Eddie, Edward and the first thing of course was like hey yeah, Edward you have to come to smoke uh, smoke sauna. So basically, after Zoom that we had connected, next step was getting naked and going to smoke sauna together. And, uh, and we just connected, and actually, today morning, they left, they were here. Edward was also here, and our uh, co-producer from Iceland, Klim uh, Johannes, and uh, we were talking with Eddie, I think, the early morning, uh, just making more music, and, and we want to collaborate more. We just connected and feel so, um, yeah, like we understood that the roots of that South Estonian connection with nature and Icelandic connection with nature, they are like so similar. So hopefully this um, collaboration continues. And then I went, yes, I went to Iceland and then a lot of this, what you hear is there in his studio. And um, and he didn't use, for me it was important not to use any like, piano or any of these kind of instruments. So there are uh, bucket sounds, water sounds, like wood sounds, like creating um, from the smoke sauna, because smoke sauna is very audio, and there's a lot of um, music there, like uh, how the spectrum uh, drops, or, and uh, how the sauna itself and there's a lot of sounds, so how to get that here so that you would feel that you are also in the smoke zone. I think you achieved that because I felt it um, and I suspect that the audience did too. And we do have to wrap it up, but thank you so much for all of you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.